I think there has to be some important reparations and we can discuss what that is. But look, we're looking at more than 200 years of slavery. We're looking at almost 100 years of Jim Crow. We're looking at legalized segregation and, and, and in fact segregation on so many levels that exist today based on race. And there has not been any kind of intervention done. Understanding the harm and the damage that occurred to correct course. And so we are seeing the effects of all of those years play out still today. As, as president, you would be willing to lead a conversation on what reparations for black people would look like. Yeah, including things like what we should be doing to take very seriously undiagnosed and untreated trauma. Do you support reparations for black people? Well, listen, again, we had over 200 years of slavery. We had Jim Crow for almost a, a, a century. We had legalized discrimination, segregation, and now we have it, it, segregation and discrimination that is not legal but still exists and is a barrier to progress. We have disparities around housing. We have disparities around education. We have disparities around income. And we have to recognize that everybody did not start out on an equal footing in this country. And in particular, black people have not. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people.